Officer Sirach, Officer Jacob, I'm Soldier Mordecai with all you I see. Dallas with another edition of Cuts from the Streets. Hey, we down here in Deep Ellum and we trying to get our people's uh, reaction on the topic. Hey, should sex be before marriage? What you think, my brother? Hey, man, you know what we think according to the scriptures. We already know sex shouldn't be before marriage, but we're going to talk to our people, right? Right now, it's a gender war going on amongst the black man and black woman. So we want to see what do the black man think? What do the black woman think? Is there ways that we could solve these problems that's going on in our relationship? Exactly. What you got to say? Well, well, as you say, you know, marriage is definitely honorable, but, you know, our people out here believe that, you know, we can go from man to man, woman to woman, and we're definitely going to see if we can, you know, shed the light. Hopefully we can get that rare few that be like, hey, man, that marriage is honorable, but you know how our people going to be. But, hey, this is what we out here for, see what the people going to say. So with that, we're going to be right back real quick after these quick little interviews, and we're going to give you all that second thought on what our people mind, where our people's minds really are. Right. With that, we say shalom. Cuts from the street, Officer Ciroc, we got brother Francois. We got brother Francois out here today. So what we doing out here today, we asking people, brother Francois, hey, should sex be before marriage, bro? What you think about that? Should sex be before marriage? I'm going to say this, man. Do you trust, do you test drive the car before you buy it? We out here with my brother? Sha. Brother Sha. Okay, so we talked about it a little bit before we got on camera. The topic is sex before marriage. You made a, a statement. You say it can get you into something. Well, what, what, was you, what was you talking about? It can definitely get you in trouble, period. Because at the end of the day, if you're not, it's, you know, if you follow religion, obviously, it, fornication can get you in a lot of trouble. Right. Hey, and I kind of figured you was going to say that, man. So you did the car facts before you buy it? Yeah, yeah, a car fact. Because facts. this is an investment. Sex just ain't sex. This is like some life partner stuff. This is, you know, you don't have my name. We on the same team. You know what I'm saying? So this is like semi-like ownership. You know what I'm saying? Right. And you got to get pro productivity out of this stuff. So who wants to get, be in love and then be like, you know what? We ain't compatible. Right, right. Because at the end of the day, we got to be compatible. And shoot. Sex is one of the most important things in your relationship. It's how you connect physically and become one. So sex should be before marriage? You know what? Tierra. I'm Taya. With TT, you know, in the building. We're out here, you know, saying, asking out people what they think about. Hey, there's a question I wanted to ask. What do y'all think? Uh, should you have sex before marriage or you should go ahead and hold out until y'all get married? What y'all think? Absolutely have sex before marriage. Absolutely. <laughs> because if I find out that you ain't working with it, it's, it's, it's over. Fornication can get you in a lot of trouble, whether it's physically, spiritually, right. mentally. Right. Ooh, and especially if you in the wrong situation with some of them folk that don't look like us. Definitely but, can get you in trouble. You right about Big that. Time. But see, you made a point on you made two good points I want to address. You talked about the fornication side, whether it be physical, spiritual, that's gonna get you all bad type of places. You also said being in a situation with the people who don't look like us. Mm -hmm. But see, what, what we teach it here at IUIC is that we should be marrying our own anyways. Period. Right? But the black man should see value in the black woman and want to make her his wife. And vice versa. The black woman should see value in the black man and want to make her make him the husband. Do you agree right. with that? Of course, of course. Absolutely, okay. Sure. So let me ask this. You said it could get you in trouble. Mm -hmm. From a physical aspect, the tangible action of fornication, what type of trouble does it get us into? Well, if once again, if you believe in a higher power, if you're traveling on your spiritual journey, it can deter you from getting to your spiritual journey on a higher level. And it can also lower your vibration because you know you got this thing called soul ties. You see what I'm saying? So now you, if you if you mix and mingle with the wrong people, your soul ties are getting disrupted. <laughs> A very imaginative proposition, my man. That is to say, prostitution pertaining to the cotec. You understand? Um, you know what? I was talking to some uh, some people um, in the Muslim nation or whatever, and they was like, they informed me that they allowed to test drive before marriage. Okay. Now there's some rules to it, but the way they do it is they start dating, they be like, this can go to the next level. You get to sample all the goods, you know what I'm saying, before you fully commit. Okay. Sound like a good deal to me, don't you it? See what I'm saying? So it also could bring you down vibrationally. Your vibration could come. So now I got a follow up for you because you made a point about the spiritual journey, the, the soul ties, the vibrations, which I do agree that it does affect your spiritual walk. But one of the 
comments that we get a lot of times when we ask this question from people is they'll say, okay, yeah, I hear what you're saying on a, on a spiritual standpoint, but sometimes the spiritual and the practical don't line up. So now, dealing with it practically, how does fornication affect us as a people on the practical side? I mean, practically, it can get you, like I said, it can get you messed up on a level to where, let's just say, Vince, you a young man, right? Mm -hmm. Young, young man, barely out of high school, right? You just got your first semester in college or whatever the case may be, and you trying to focus on your education. Say you're a sports star. Let's right. just say you're a sports star. Right. And you go to a faraway college away from, you know, where you go into a school where people don't look like you, right. and you knock up one of them people that don't look like you. Now, them people that don't look like you could possibly have you in a situation to make it look like you did something that you didn't do. <laughs> I agree because you got to know what you're working with before you say I do. You don't want to marry somebody and then the sex is just whack and you didn't. You had the opportunity to try it out and you didn't. You're valuing something up here that is a used vehicle with a lot of miles. Try it out and you didn't. Sex is everything. Is that sex is everything? Yes, it is. So, all right, so with that being said, so do you think that's like a judgment on that one at all? If you'll see between the relationship with God or you think it's okay to continue to keep going on that way or? God gonna love us no matter what. <laughs> like, hey, let's see if this gonna really work out like that. So, okay. yeah. So, from that perspective, I think, yeah. You know what I'm saying? For so, sure. let me ask you another question, Francois. Francois, okay. so you say yes. Yeah. So, hey, you believe in the Bible? I do. What you think? Do you think God wants you to test drive before you marry? Do you think if you did test drive before you marry, God will forgive you? Oh, most definitely. Well, but, all right. But but I but you know what I'm saying. Right now, do we always do what God wants us to do all exactly. the way? Exactly. If that were the case, we wouldn't need Jesus. We'd have a direct link to God, right? And we we cool. Right. But since we got Jesus, because we got we weak like that. Right. So yeah. So if you do fall into a test drive, I'm not saying you know, but He understands what you're gonna be going through, and the temptations that are coming to you before you get them. Hey, what do you think He should? What you What do you think God wants you to do after if you test drive before marriage? What do you think God wants you to do? You think he wanted to just leave her for a baby mama, baby daddy, or a baby mama and be baby daddy, well, single just parents? You, just because you test drive don't mean you don't get pregnant. There's a whole bunch of people who want babies who can't have a baby. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's just a miracle within itself. I mean, if you do do that test drive and you do it without contraceptives and such like that, and then you have a baby, then that means God wanted that baby to be there. All right. Hey, well, Francois, let me show you something out the Bible. What God say, you know what I'm saying about the Bible? What What I He probably, say about the? I probably heard, but go okay. ahead. Tell me, tell me, hey, let me get is. that. Let me get that Ezekiel. Uh, Hit him with that and, Zeke. Uh, uh, Exodus. Give me that Exodus. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Give me that Exodus uh, 22 and 16. Because hey, you know, in actuality, the Lord He He wants us to do a certain thing, you know, and we gotta understand what that thing is. You know what I'm saying? So if you test drive, He got rules and regulations. Everything got rules and regulations, right? Mm -hmm, so. Mm -hmm. Check this out, friends, so I watch this. The book of Exodus, chapter 22, verse 16. And then if a man entice a maid that is not betrothed and lie with her, he shall surely endow her to be his wife. So the most mm. high God, he said, hey, that's, that's what your he said, wife. But when, but when did he say that? Because He's, what testament is out of? That's true. And you could be caught up. And right. now it's their word against your word. Your no word going to lose every time. Exactly. Especially in, in, when you get held in a, in a court that ain't held by people that look like us. So I'm saying? So That's a good point. But I will argue it goes even deeper than that because it goes into our own people, too. You knock up one of the sisters who look like you. Don't you think that a lot of times fornication leads to single parent homes? Oh, of course. But that's part of the system. That's what Babylon does. You're right. But let me ask this. Do we as a people have a power to change that? Of course we do. We got the power to make a choice. And when you make a choice, you, you got an a, a opportunity to make a choice that's a positive one or one that's not positive. So what is the choice that we should make that solves that problem? You got to stay abstinent, man. <laughs> I like that. Let, let me get a verse. Give me Hebrews 13. You made a point. You said you got to stay abstinent. And when you do want to deal with sex, this is what you should do. Watch this. It's the book of Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 4. Uh -huh. Marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. So to your point about staying abstinent, we should stay abstinent until we get married. Because God said marriage is honorable. Mm -hmm. He ain't say jumping off here and there, test driving, right, right, right. being a star athlete and knocking them up. He ain't say that was honorable. He said when you get married, that's honorable. Why? Because think about it. A strong people starts with a strong family. 
right? When you produce productive members of society, they oftentimes come from a structured household. That seen mom and dad that was taught certain things. So to your point about how Babylon pushes the system on us, we as a people got to take accountability, right? And, and make that choice to do what? I'm not going to lay down with a sister if I'm not married to her. And if I'm not married and I lay down to her, this is what I'm going to do. Watch this. It's nature. It's nature. It wouldn't be no you if it wasn't of no weed. Yeah. <laughs> they say, so without the women, they say, it wouldn't be no children, no child burning, nothing wouldn't like be, that. Yeah, wouldn't be here. <laughs> I got you. Okay, so, okay, with also going to the same lines with sex before marriage, uh, do you think, like, okay, how we're moving into society, do uh, you think it's gonna, things going to get a little bit better, or do you think uh, we're going to continue to keep having single-parent households? Or? Oh, definitely. Definitely single-parent households. Yeah, nobody wants to be um, monogamous anymore. Everybody wants to explore, and, you know, everybody's wondering about what they're missing out on and stuff, so I definitely don't see that happening. I, you know, we, we're getting further and further the away The same, from and then you also see it on TV nowadays with all these new TV shows mm -hmm. and stuff that they come out. They're pretty much promoting that it's okay not to be monogamous and rightfully so you know everybody has their own choices and stuff like that so if you choose not to be monogamous that's just your personal choice your preference and you're entitled to that but it's being promoted more now in this generation than ever because you know yeah but yeah, because of the whole, uh, you know, saying there's the husband and wife, you know, saying that picture is starting to go away. It's more of the baby mamas, the baby daddies, and it's kind of like the communication of how everything's been going, especially yes. with the media, right? Yes, yeah. Yes, the, the yes. music Social and everything. media has changed. It has changed the whole dynamic of relationships. You know, it's it's just easier to right. cheat. We do. Yeah. All right. Uh, give me. Let me get that first Timothy. You know what I'm saying? Because I want to show, like, okay, with that. Oh, you know what? Uh, yeah, let me get this one with the role in the relationship. Like, you know what I'm saying? With the marriage and everything. Like what they said with the woman. Go ahead. Read that for me. Man. It's the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 5 and verse 14. I will therefore that the younger women marry, bear children, guide the house. It said right there, it said the younger woman marry. And it said, so in, that, in the marriage, it'll say, God the house. It'll say, because the house is your domain. Because mm -hmm. who do the most decorating is yeah, the woman that said yeah. in the house, right? It says, all right, so you got the house and the what? Give none occasion to the adversary to speak reproachfully. It said, giving the adversary to you know, say the devil the outside forces, you know, from the distractions, you know what I'm saying? Other men coming in and things like that. It's supposed to be just y'all too, you know what I'm saying? You and your family and the household. Yeah, because Peace. what testament is out of? Peace out of? Because the, after, uh, I think in a later testament, all things are forgiven. You nah. know All things hey, are not and that's forgiven. A, and that's a whole nother and that's a whole nother wait, conversation. Wait, 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 wait. But they're that's not. That's a whole Hold nother on. conversation. But they are or they're not. What you mean? Are all things forgiven? If you repent from them. But that's okay. a whole nother conversation. But, but the answer Francois, to the question is, if you repent, then yes, you gotta repent though, friends. Because that means you gotta feel sorry for it. You gotta repent. You gotta change. You gotta Can't do it no more. It. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but what? But what if you hit it and then you get married to her? It, hey, that's then what he's that, telling you what right is that there. Doing? Check this out, friends. Is, is that repenting? We going yeah. Is it? Yeah, because watch. This is what he said. Give me that again in Exodus. Francois, you got to pay attention to the words, bro. Look it. Because right. look at what you just said is what we just said right here. Watch this. Read it again. And if a man entice a maid. So that entice word means spit your game. If you spit your game at her, read. That is not betrothed. Hey, and she ain't promised to nobody else because you just said in a Muslim community, right? They be promised, though. No, no, if no, she no, not, no, no. So, it, no, no, no. What I said was, now listen they, to the words. They're allowed to test drive. They're allowed to test drive. It's a test drive. Right. We can sit here and see if it's going to fit for y'all before y'all commit, and it's okay. Right. That's the words that I had said. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Okay. exactly. That's not exactly what you was about okay. to say, though. Okay. So right. check it out. In okay. the But in a Muslim community, a lot of those be arranged marriages. So it says, if a man entice a maid that is not a betrothed. Lot, a, a lot of them do, which, but a lot of them don't. Right. But uh, the word betrothed means, I'm just getting it to give you the context of that word betrothed. I know, but, but the betrothed word, means you're yeah. a promise to someone, promise to no someone else. Promise to someone else. Yeah, read. But now, how is someone else going to promise you to someone? Anyway. Your pops, that's, that's, read. That's, that's a different okay. one. And lie with her. Uh-huh. He shall surely endow her to be his wife. Maybe. Now, what, now what if to she don't lay wife. with a couple other people before she lay hey, with you? we just saying it right here. Well, hey, if you spit your game right at her, here. then he, they were supposed to marry. What game at me? Because I'm handsome, and a lot of chicks spit game at they me. They spit game at you? I don't really be you coming be falling at for? Like that. Hey, you they should they hit them with this, Hebrews 13 and 4. You should hit him with this, you know what I'm saying? Because the Lord, man, he want us to do certain things, Francois. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Watch this, read. It's the book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 4. Come on. Marriage is honorable in all. He say marriage is honorable in all. Francois, read. What does that and mean? And the bed undefiled. What is, 
marriage is honorable in all. What read. does that mean? But homemongers. No, read it from the top. Okay. So I can, marriage is honorable in all. He say marriage is honorable in all, Francois, which means marriage is above everything. It's more honorable than he anything. He wrote that before today. This is a, a whole bunch this of is the New married. Testament. There's a whole bunch. I'm talking about. Is this the Old Testament or New Testament? I'm talking about today. I, and this is today. On Ashley Madison. And if you look up the stat sheet over here in Texas, right. this is the number three place where people are getting divorced in the U.S. Okay? Hey, this, so it's a whole bunch of people I that took that. that. Took, and it didn't mean nothing in the Francois. end. Francois. Hey, but look, all we just. All, I'm, all saying, I'm saying, all I can give you is what the Word of God says. You say you believe got, in the Bible? I, yeah, yeah, That's it. all I'm going to do. I'm going to read the Bible. But Read. you know what I'm saying? Like, just like everything else, check it, check you got to take it, it and apply it to where you at now in the time I, of your life. You hey, know what I'm saying? Because they didn't have iPhones and Pornhub. Right. They did not. But that's look. a whole different. Hey, they didn't have Ashley I, Madison. Hey, you know it's what they was doing? It's a whole different ball game, hey, And bro. that's a whole nother conversation, it's bro. A that's a whole game. nother conversation. Because when you read the book of Corinthians, they was actually having sex with each other's parents. They was having all kind of orgies, bro. They was walking oh, around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they didn't have to have porn hub. But look, that's a whole nother conversation. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? A whole nother topic. I hope you down here for that. But read that again for me. Okay. Marriage is honorable in all. Come on. And the bed undefiled. And the bed is undefiled once you marry to your wife. Read. Or your wife, the wife married to the husband. Read. What if she bring, but, what if she bring another kid to it? It's, it's read. Not, it's but not, homemongers not. and adulterers, God will judge. He say, but whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. So if well, you sleep from between, women to women to women. There's a difference between whoremongering and being serious with a chick, nah. and then y'all get intimate. Wh That's not whoremongering. What he saying next? You know what? What is whoremongering? Whoremongering is jumping defined. from woman to woman to woman to woman to woman, it's being a male. Banging a lot of chicks. Right. Right. But I ain't banging a lot of chicks. There's a lot of brothers out there who ain't banging a lot of chicks. Right. But the chick that they serious with, and y'all start kissing. They not married. A lot of times. Okay, so they so, they in the so, midst so, of whoremonger and that's fornication. Not, that's not that's not that's not whor, that's not whoring when you when you first when, when first you hey, man. Uh, hey, I appreciate your point of view, somebody, bro. Man. I appreciate your point of it'd view, man. It'd be hey, different look. if I if I'm, oh, I got some chicks on rotation, but when you I, you, you when got you date somebody because you want that person to be that person and y'all get intimate, bro, it's gonna happen, man. Right, it's gonna happen. Well, make sure you marry a Francois. Don't be using the, the French name to, to well, just get well, the draws, well, bro. Sure you got to marry. Y'all said something real heavy, and that's biblical, like how to, how to portray with the single-parent yeah, households yeah. and the things like that. And then because now what? We got kids being raised with, you know, saying with no father in the house right, or right. and then things like that. You see how they look, how the kids are turning out today, right? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. All right, let me get that. It's the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 33. Be not deceived. Evil communication corrupt good manners. So that's what y'all are going into. They said the evil communication. So that social media, you got to watch out because what is causing that evil communication. That's why they're all saying they're showing that the sex is okay before marriage. Why? Because in Hebrews, uh, thir you know, saying in 13 and 4, you know, saying God had a specific thing about marriage because marriage is one of the biggest things in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and read that. It's the book of Hebrews, chapter 13 and verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all, in the bed undefiled. He says marriage is honorable. So that's a major thing with God. You know what I'm saying? What's that marriage? Read on. But whoremonger and adulterers, God will judge. So God said, he said, God will judge the homemonger. So for going from woman to woman, man to man, mm -hmm. he said God will judge that. You know, so with those the things, I mean, I wonder what y'all thoughts on that, what the Bible says on that, or what y'all believes on well, that. Well, I'm not married, but I have been with my partner for like 12 years. So I, I really don't like fall into that because I don't hop from guy to guy. You know, I do believe in sticking with one and, you know, but um, I don't know. I can't kind of really say too much on that. I'm not married, so I don't know. <laughs> but, right. Well, that's what it says. Uh, go ahead. I'm, I'm married, but I'm getting divorced, so I can shit a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know um, take that one. I'm <laughs> Um, I just believe that, I mean, yeah, the Bible says one thing, but you know, your heart and your own spirit. person, your spirit is going to do another. So you, I mean, it's good to have those common laws, mm -hmm. but I mean, people are people. They're going to do what they want to do at the end of the day. This is what I'm going to do. Watch this. Exodus 22, 16. It's the book of Exodus chapter 22 and verse 16. Mm -hmm. And if a man entice a maid that is not betrothed mm -hmm. and lie with her. He shall surely endow her to be his wife. So the Bible says, if you entice someone, mm -hmm. right? You know, entice, spitting your gang, hey, sis, blah, blah, blah. you know, you know how I go. You have been around the block a couple, two or three times, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. afraid. So it say, if you entice a maid, it say, you shall surely endow her to be your wife. Right. So even if you do it before the official ceremony, it's still a requirement that you got to get that done. Yeah. 
let me ask you a question. You think if we applied that scripture in the black community where we was forcing marriage for uh, um, out of order sex and we was holding people accountable, would that change our community? Big time, big time. Because then you won't have all these single parent homes. You wouldn't have all these uh, children out of wedlock. You wouldn't have all these, you know, kids that's without fathers in the home. There you go. And you need that, that black family, strong black family, to be able to have the strong backbone in the community. Hey man, listen, y'all heard it here first. He said you need a strong family to have a backbone in the community. He said you need to what? Hold each other accountable. We can make the choice to change our community. Shalom, appreciate you, brother. Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Israel, Most High Christ blessed. So look, we back after the interview, right? And one thing we do know, all people are crazy as hell, and they don't, don't want to get married at all, man. What you think? Nah, people definitely don't want to get married, man. Just kind of coming out with all kind of ridiculousness. Don't believe in the Bible. Don't believe that, hey, everything's supposed to be 50-50. Man, we heard all kind of different stories out here. But when it comes to the marriage and actually being with that one husband or that one wife, our people ain't trying to hear it, babe. Man, what you thinking over there? What you saying? And you know, it's interesting though because some of our people, they were able to identify the negative effects of the lack of marriage in our lives. Right. We talked about single parent homes. Right. We talked about the absence of the father and how it's important to have that male figure. Right. So we were asked, okay, if we understand these are the problems, then what is the solution? How do we fix it? Right. right. So we got the arms, oh, no. baby, maybe. No, the solution is stop laying down with sisters if you don't want to marry them. Exactly. Sisters, stop opening up your legs to brothers that's not signing that paper. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you.